This is the all-new 24 F-150 STX, and this is the ultimate buyer's guide if you're interested in one of these trucks. I'm gonna go over all of the details that you could possibly wanna know about the STX specifically. And if you like this kind of a content and you want it on an XLT, the Lariat, all that kind of stuff, make sure to leave a like on this video. That tells me you want that kind of a content. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the overall truck itself. What are you getting? What's different? What's going on? Because most people think that this is just like a mid-cycle re fresh, which basically means they're going to update the grill, they're going to update the rear end, they're going to do just a little things here and there. That's not what Ford has done on this particular truck, and I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about it why. But first off, let's talk about the front end. This is going to be one of the most biggest updates on the visuals of the truck specifically. And first off, you've got this coast to coast grill, meaning that the grill comes all the way to this side and then all the way on the outside. On these lower trim level trucks, it actually surrounds the headlights right here. But when you step up into the higher trim levels, you don't get the coast to coast grill, which is just kind of a neat little fun fact for you. I will say that when you're talking about a lower trim level truck, non King Ranch, non platinum, stuff like that, I think the STX grill is the best looking grill out of the bunch. And I thought that about the previous generation truck as well. So what you've got is you've got this carbonized gray painted surround, and then you've got a little bit of texture on the inside here. Looks a lot better in my opinion than what you'll find on the XL trim levels and even some of the XLTs, depending on if you get the black appearance package. You'll notice that the hood looks very similar, but it's obviously got a couple of updates to make sure that everything matches in. Let's move on to the side. I'm gonna show you a couple of things what's going on. The fenders themselves look very similar to the 21 through the 23, but there's one big difference on the 24 versus the 23, and that is this STX badge. It's actually completely the exact same badge with one main difference, the hot neon. Y'all know I'm one of the biggest Ford lovers out there, but who in the world thought the neon green or neon yellow, I don't know what it is. You know, comment down below what you think this is. Is this neon yellow or, anyways. What in the world? Why is this on this truck? If it wasn't for this coloration, this would be one of the best budget trucks out there, in my opinion. The good news is you could probably swap that out for pretty inexpensive if that's something you want to do, or just take it out, sand it, paint it, and be done with it, right? The STX does get an upgraded set of wheels and tires compared to the XL model. The way that you want to think about the STX compared to the XL and the XLT is the XL is going to be the most entry-level version of the F-150 for 24. Then you have the STX, then you have XLT, then you've got things like the Lariat, the King Ranch, the Platinum, things like that. So this is going to be one step up above the XL work truck. This is the perfect truck for that person that doesn't want a work truck, but doesn't want to pay for a lot of the frills that come in the XLT. Because I'm going to tell you, when we get to the inside of this, you'll see where the value really is in this STX. But you'll notice this is a what they call a 200A equipment group. What in the world am I talking about? Well, Ford actually packages certain options together and provides a discount, a package, an equipment group discount on those specific options. And so the STX is gonna have one of two PEP codes is what they call it, a 200A and a 201A equipment group. This one happens to be a 200A. So this is really one of the least expensive STXs you can get on the planet. But what you get with that specific on the outside, you'll notice there is no running boards here. If you go with the 201, you do pick that up. Now keep in mind the STX 200A also has a black appearance package as an option. It's not an option on the 201. Why is that? Because I think it comes with it because on the 201, there is no neon. If you get the black appearance package on the 200, there is no neon. So this is something that you might want to consider is adding the black appearance package or going up to a 201. Another massive update on the exterior of the new F-150 STX is going to be these headlights, significantly upgraded from 23 model year. So these are the LED reflector headlights, and you're gonna see a big increase in output and overall light. But the other thing that I really like about it is it's got the dark out look to it. Uh, so this is the perfect truck if you're wanting inexpensive, but you don't want it to look like a work truck because there's no chrome on this truck anywhere except for a couple of doodads like the F-150 and things like that. Now let's take a look at the taillights. These taillights are the exact same thing with a big upgrade on the front and the rear. So you'll notice that you've got this big update. It looks a lot more beefy, looks a lot more modern. I didn't realize how much of an upgrade this was gonna be until I saw these trucks in person. You can watch all the videos you want to, you can see all the pictures that you 
you want to, but these headlights and taillights are a significant upgrade on the 24 versus the 23. On the back side of the truck, you're gonna notice a significant upgrade with this Ford logo. It looks very different. You don't even realize it, once again, in videos and on photos, but what you'll notice is it's got this almost just neon white look to it where the Ford is, it almost looks like it's illuminated. I've had a couple people say, is that thing lit? No, it's not. It's just an upgraded colors on the back of the vehicle, and I think it looks significantly better. But as uh, far as the tailgate is concerned, well, first off, you're gonna notice you get your backup camera located right here. And right here, this one has got a non, dampen tailgate, just something to know about the STX, but you will also notice this one does not have the tailgate step. Uh, the tailgate step is available as an option, but it's not an a la carte option. It is built into the bed utility package. So if you're interested in the tailgate step, you have to pick a truck with that bed utility package. And by the way, if you're getting any value out of this video, there's two ways you can help us. Number one, like the video. That's the most important. But two, if you're interested in ordering one of these trucks at invoice pricing, give us a call. Town & Country Ford is associated associated with TC Customs, this YouTube channel, and we'll be happy to order any of these trucks to you at invoice pricing. So if you want to know more information about that, just call the number right there on the screen or check us out at alabamaford.com. But yeah, I do like the ability to have that tailgate step. That is an option, but there's another cool little upgrade on the new F-150, and that is in the bed of the truck. These are the bed storage boxes found inside of the back of the F-150. So that way on every single F-150, not just the STX, you've got one on either side of the bed and you can store the things that matter most to you. Kind of like maybe your cell phone or whatever you just want to keep back there. It's really nice that Ford gives you a little bit of opportunity to kind of keep something out of sight, out of mind, so that way you don't have to rely on something like a soft bed cover or a hard bed cover to keep all of your valuables safe. A few other notable features of the new 24 F-150 that are carryovers from the previous generation are gonna be these C-clamps, where you can actually take a clamp and then clamp a piece of wood down to the tailgate on either side. The idea there is if you're gonna run a saw, you can actually run the saw off to the side because that lumber is hanging off onto the side. Another cool feature are gonna be these clamps on either side of the bed. So that way, if you have some lumber laid down back here, you can actually put your ratchet strap over that lumber and then ratchet it down so stuff doesn't slide out of the back of the vehicle. These also double function as a bottle opener. So that way, if you're camping, because you don't need to be drinking and driving, but you can have a nice cold brewski when you're at the, <laughs> at the campsite. One of the last things I want to cover on the outside of this truck is going to be found right here. I've had so many people ask me, what in the world is this thing for? Because it's just like an empty hole. That is how you access the spare tire in case you have a flat. You take the prop, you stick it in there, crank it down, the spare tire drops. You can actually change your flat out pretty easily there. The other thing I want to show you right here is going to be your seven and four pin connector for the trailer towing. What's interesting to know about this particular truck is that it this doesn't have some crazy trailer tow package to it. This has a very specific engine and really not any other options. That's one of the reasons I think this is such a good value. I'm gonna cover the engine in just a second. It's just interesting to know that you can get these packages without actually having to step up to the max trailer tow package. On the inside of this truck, this is really where this thing shines as far as a value proposition. Let me go ahead and hop in the truck so we can kind of cover this with you guys. Okay, so the first thing you want to realize is that the STX does come with a switchblade key. So that's one downside. If you want that push button start, you're gonna to have to update to basically the XLT. Whether it's worth it or not, that's a different question. So you've got your key, go ahead and crank it up. First thing you're gonna notice is, well, this vehicle is happens to be in the vehicle transport mode because we just rolled this thing off of the truck. But um, yeah, you've got a massive 12 inch screen right here with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, uh, or wired if you want to plug it in, that's an option for you as well. I do like the fact that this is a horizontal screen versus a vertical screen, uh, because I know on the Lightning, I liked that vertical screen, but I've had a lot more people say, oh, I think looks like a tablet, but when you want, when you go for this particular option, it kind of flies under the radar, but it still gives you all the utility that you need. My main thing is, is I like having this picture in a picture if you're old enough to remember that, where you can have your radio over here, or you can have your navigation over here, and you can have your radio over here. And you know what? If you want to, you can even click here and flip through all of the different picture in a picture options if you want to. So that way you want to take a look at your fuel economy while you're doing your navigation, you've got that option. I think it's really a cool little setup in a new next generation version of the sync infot infotainment system. The other thing I want to talk about is going to be in the instrument cluster. This is going to be the first time in history Ford Motor Company has given us a digital dash on every single F-150. 
XL, STX, XL2, they all have this massive touchscreen, and I love this thing. Uh, this is what I love in my Bronco Raptor. The reason I like that is because it's all digital. You get a lot more customizations. You can actually come in here and knock out your drive modes and go from normal to your sport mode to your trail, uh, slippery, trailer, tow off road, I mean, eco. There's so many different options, and everything gets automatically remapped, not just this screen. So it's pretty cool that you have that ability. The next thing I want to talk about happens to do with the transmission. So let's say I go ahead and put the vehicle in drive and I'm just going to go ahead and do my drive or whatever. Notice that I don't have my seatbelt on or if even if I have my seatbelt on, if I come over here and I open the door, watch what happens to the transmission selector when I actually try and get out of the vehicle. It won't let the vehicle roll away. It'll automatically put itself in park so that way this thing don't ride down a steep hill saying goodbye to your brand new 24 F-150. So that's a pretty cool little setup. By the way, if you have your seatbelt still connected and you open the door, it's not going to do that. It's when you unbelt, unbelt, unbelt unbuckle your seat belt when you unbuckle it that's when it says oh this dude about to get out the truck i need to put it back in park so it's a pretty cool little feature safety feature once again not a brand new feature for 24 but it is something that you need to realize it's a nice little safety feature a little extra extra something so i want to talk about a couple of other things a lot of people don't realize why in the world is this big black thing right here what in the world is it for well a couple of different things you've got some microphones in there uh, you've also got your microphones for the sync system located right here but back to this, behind this is going to be an actual camera system. And what's happening is that camera system is doing a couple of different things. Number one, it's looking for other cars on the road at night because this vehicle has automatic high beams. If there's no one else on the road, it's dark outside. Not only will the lights automatically turn on, but it'll automatically turn your highlight, highlights, your high beams and your low beams on automatically. Just all you got to do is just drive the vehicle. You never have to worry about blinding that person coming on to you. Now, the other thing that it's doing with that camera system up there, it's looking for the lanes in the road and if it feels like you're going to be running off the road it'll actually bounce you back in the lane to keep you from riding off the road when you're driving maybe a little bit groggier than you should be while driving it hopefully will come in and save you but the last and coolest feature is it uses optical imaging to make sure that if you're about to hit the vehicle in front of you the vehicle can actually slow down for you and hopefully prevent some kind of an accident or if nothing else lessen the severity of it so Ford has really packed this thing with a crap ton of different technology to help keep you safe. Things like you may not even heard of control. So the idea is I'm hauling butt on the interstate and I get off and I'm going to this off ramp and I have to turn it really, really hard. What's going to happen is the truck is using all these yaw sensors in here. And if it realizes you're about to slide off the road, the truck will automatically apply a little bit more brake. So that way you don't end up in the ditch on the off ramp. I think that's a really, really cool feature. Ford has packed a lot of technology. Yes, these trucks are more expensive than they've ever been, but yes, you're getting a lot more than you've ever gotten in these particular trucks. Now, a couple of other things that I want to show you. Once again, some are carryovers, some are brand new. Uh, I just think you need to talk about it if you're interested in a 24 F-150 STX, uh, but you've got lots of different power points everywhere. So not only do you have your cup holders located right in here, but you've also got a really nice place to put your cell phone and it props up if you want to. You've also got another place for your cell phone right here if you prefer it to lay down. You've got power points here, USB-C, USB-A. Not only that, but you've also got other points located right here. Another two USB-Cs, pretty sweet little setup. A normal 12 volts, so if you want to power your radar detector, whatever it is you want to power, you got that. So I love the fact that they are making this truck so livable. In addition to that, let's say your, your wife, your passenger princess, whatever you want to call them, uh, is on the passenger side and they want to put some stuff, you've got a nice secure place to, uh, oh, apparently Savannah's calling me. <laughs> but you've got a nice place to put all of your stuff right there you shouldn't have to ha actually open up a secondary door. It's a pretty cool little setup. Now, if you go with the tire trim levels, there's an actual door there, but there's something to be said about the extra storage space you get by not having that door there. In addition to that, you've also got a normal glove box located right here. And notice this, all of your new F-150s, this is your owner's manual. What in the world? Why is it so tiny? Because the entire owner's manual is going to be found right here inside of this 12 inch infotainment system. So everything that you need to know is going to be found inside of the settings and the features tab of this particular vehicle. Owner's manual right there. Not only that, but you can also search the entire owner's manual digitally. It's got videos built into your owner's manual. It's a pretty cool little technology update, but let's be real. It's also going to save Ford some money by having 
not have to produce this owner's manual that's this thick because there's a lot of features on this particular truck. Now let's talk a little bit more about the storage and things like that. You've got a carryover massive setup located in here. You've got your little tray system for your coins if you want it. Business cards located right in here. You've got more coin storage right here. But inside of this massive setup, this is a normal hanging file folder system size. So if you truly work out of your truck, you can actually hang files in here and work out of your truck if you want to. And you can still lock this center console with the key fob right here. It's a pretty cool little setup. You can even put a full-size laptop in here if that's something that's interesting to you. So I love the fact that you've got a lot of technology, you've got a lot of options, a lot of storage in this truck. I think this is one of the best one of the best values for this vehicle. Now let's take a look at this back seat. The back seat is an awesome set of storage facilities back here as well. The first thing I love to show you guys are things that you may not realize about these particular trucks. Just like this storage seat behind the passenger rear seat, when you pull that open, you're gonna find the places that you keep the jack. You also find the fuel filler nozzle in case you run out of gas and you have to put gas in it without a gas station. You're gonna need that to put gas into this tank because it's got the capitalist fuel filler system. So the other thing that I wanna show you is how much storage space this is so as we put that seat back up and lift up this side it's a 60 40 split bench so that way if you need two people here and storage here i got you if you need to flip flop it you can do that as well but look how much storage is back here i mean i'm six foot three and i can just walk all the way through <laughs> the vehicle it's got a lot of storage. I think it's absolutely amazing. You've got lots of cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, all in the back seat of this STX F-150. I think Ford, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? And we've already talked about some power points as well. We've got a power point located right here with the 12 volt, and we've also got another two USB-Cs back there as well. Ford, well done on the interior of this truck. The engine of this vehicle of choice is one of my favorites, especially since we are the number one Roush supercharger dealer in the world. It's gonna be the 5.0 V8, the Coyote dog. Now there's a lot of different engine options available to you. The 2.7, the 5.0, the 3.5, 3.5 power, but there's lots of different engines available. Just take a look at, or just reach out to us if you have any questions on what availability is each engine for each different trim level, because there are some restrictions there. But I love the fact you got the 5.0. The supercharger tune is gonna be coming available very, very soon for this truck. Um, the Coyote engine is just absolutely fantastic. So regardless of whatever the supercharger you want to put on this vehicle, we've got you covered. Uh, I think it's fantastic that we have that ability in this day and age to make 700 plus horsepower out of otherwise a stock vehicle. Talk about a true sleeper. By the way, we are sold out on sleepers, but we will be running a very cool special on the superchargers themselves. If you're interested in that, yeah, we'll have some links down on our website for TC Customs where you can just buy the supercharger straight up and outright. So yeah, that is basically our review of what I think is the best value in all of F-150 land. And that is going to be the STX F-150. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to subscribe with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.